can expect coming up in the month of October. So the first one coming out on October 1st, 1st, uh, mark it on your calendar is coming up super soon. We have the latest installment in the saga of the animated version of the Adams Family. I am super stoked. Adams Family 2 comes out October 1st and they're going to bring all their spookiness and kookiness back for this animated adventure as they kind of have these really interesting interactions with unlikely characters. Super excited. I think we're going to see because of it. Uh, I, I grew up loving the Adams Family. I always wanted to be Morticia. I think one year for Halloween I was Wednesday Adams and I loved Christina Ricci. So I would love to play Morticia. Love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Another, re oh, oh yeah, so this one is going to be starring Oscar Isaac, Chloe Moretz, uh, Bette Midler, Charlize Theron, and more. So uh, definitely who's who of casting. Uh, the next one is really cool because I'm very fascinated by the inner workings and the hierarchies and all the historical information about like the mob and mafia and all these, you know, boss families and so forth. So this film I wanted to highlight, it's called The Many Saints of Newark. It's also coming out within the first week of October. And it's basically the story of a young Anthony Soprano and how he gets molded into becoming who we know as Tony Soprano. And he's coming up in a very tumultuous, dangerous time where the dynamics are definitely shifting in Newark and people are challenging the DeMeo family. So very, very cool. It's uh, going to be starring Michael Gandolfini, uh, Leslie Odom Jr., Vera Faminga, and several more amazing people. <clears throat> The next movie is also coming out within the first week or two in October. It's called Implanted. I kind of liked, I wanted to highlight this even though it didn't have a lot of uh, especially known actors. I wanted to highlight it because you guys know I'm always looking for some, you know, interesting scripts that aren't, you know, the same recycled stuff, you know. <laughs> so this one is really cool. It's about this woman who enters into this clinical trial for this specific, uh, a uh, health company, a pharmaceutical company, and she's hoping it'll be the answer to her money problems, her, you know, financial woes, so to speak, because she is in charge of taking care of uh, her ailing mother, who I think has Alzheimer's or dementia. And so uh, what the clinical trial is, it's supposed to be this like nano chip that gets uh, implanted huh, into, I think their their cerebral uh, brain stem or spinal cord, something to that effect. <clears throat> And the basis of the implant is is being told that it's supposed to, uh, you know, attack a disease or a virus uh, before it gets a chance to take over in your body. So basically like a, a nano chip component to defend against any sort of pandemic and so forth and so on, which is kind of interesting considering what we're going through now in the new landscape. And ba apparently it has a very different meaning and a very different function than what was said on paper for the clinical trial. And all of a sudden she gets uh, these murderous urges and callings from the nano chip to go do really bad things. And now she is in a predicament where she can either live or die. Uh, the next one is called The Guilty, starring Jake Gyllenhaal, Bill Burr, and Ethan Hawke and others. This one is a full movie on the course of one morning with a 911 call and the 911 operator who tries to save the person who made the call, but things, things may not be as they appear or seem. Okay, the next one is Witch Hunt, which is also coming out within the first two weeks of October. This one seemed really cool. It's supposed to take place in modern day America. And there's uh, witches that are alive and well, magic is a thing, and there, there's federal agents that are witch hunters. And there's people that have been tasked with actually trying to get the witches out of America into a safe haven in Mexico. And this, the synopsis for this film kind of reminded me of Lois Lowry's Number of the Stars meets um, Anne Frank because what happens is one of the, the young daughters uh, in one of the families that's tasked with helping to uh, get the witches out of America into a safe haven in Mexico, uh, they end up having to hide uh, a family in their walls in the house and things start to happen in the house that cannot necessarily be explained. And so now this girl, Claire, starts thinking that she has more in common with this family than she may have realized. <laughs> 
Bum, bum, bum. Kind of interesting, right? Uh, if you guys know anything about uh, Anne Frank and Lois Lowry's book, Number the Stars, you'll definitely see where I'm going with that. Uh, and by the way, huge shout out to Lois Lowry. I followed her on Twitter and uh, she's actually the inspiration for how I fell in love with reading and decided to become a published author in children's books. So huge shout out to her. Uh, the next one is The Survivalist starring, let's see here, I can't even read my own writing. Uh, I'm sorry guys, I cannot read that, I was scribbling. Uh, we'll skip. Uh, coming out on October 8th, mark your calendars. This has three different um, airing dates in theaters. Uh, Australia has a different date, I think, in November. America is October 8th, and I forgot the other ones. It's No Time to Die, the latest installment in the Bond series. So we're going to take a quick break, and we will update you as soon as we come right back. 